This video is brought to you by Biznet. For more information, go to biznet.com.au. In this video, we're going to look at how to use a dashboard. Uh, this is just the first video of a series. And in this video, we're going to look at um, just an introduction and most importantly, how this virtual trainer application can be linked to an Excel dashboard. So uh, assuming that you've already bought uh, this project, we can click this one off as complete and we'll put down, uh, we'll submit the time that's sitting over there. Um, we'll move to the next task, which is looking at the updating of information. If we click on this uh, create a dashboard button, what the program does is tells us to make sure cube.xls is closed. So let's do that. We'll go into Excel and we'll find the cube.xls file and we'll close that. Um, the dashboard creates that file, which is why that needs to be closed before it can run. So we now click on OK. And Virtual Trainer is off building the dashboard. There, it had, there it's recreated the cube and it's asking if we want to reopen the dashboard, which we do. So in a few seconds, the dashboard is reopened. Um, and you can see here that uh, we've got uh, one task complete and one which is in progress and the rest haven't been started yet. And over here you can see we've started, made a little bit of progress with the time and uh, we're making some progress over here and you can see which tasks are complete and still remaining in the Gantt chart at the bottom. If we go back to Virtual Trainer and make some changes, uh, for instance, let's come in here and complete the first uh, three tasks and we'll put some times against them. So updating information, we'll say that that one took us uh, 0.1 of an hour and we'll say the next one took us 0.2, or we might change it, 0.3 of an hour. Um, let's now see how that information is updated in the dashboard. If we go to the dashboard, um, and we pick, for example, the pie chart, we can see 3% are complete, 3% are in progress. What we should see is when we rerun the dashboard, um, we should see that more of these tasks have been ticked off as completed, so we should see the pie chart change. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the dashboard in that view so that we can watch it update. And I'm going to close that cube.xls file. And I'm going to run the dashboard. Once again, cube.xls file is created. And our dashboard is currently being updated, saying so it has to refresh, which we'll let it do. And there's the pie chart changing. And as you can see, now we've got more tasks that are completed, some that are not started, and there aren't any tasks that are in progress. So importantly, what you've seen there is a direct link between um, a database and a dashboard running in Excel. It's important to note that the Excel dashboard can be linked to almost any database that is able to produce either text files or in the case of FileMaker, it produces an Excel file. That's it for the introduction. Feel free to move on to the next stage.